As Tiana's Bayou Adventure has yet to operate fully at Walt Disney World and is continuously delayed over at Disneyland, it sounds like Disney's going for a completely different flume attraction for their Disneyland Paris Park, that being the Lion King. Let's talk about Disney's lack of faith in Tiana here on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me is theme park expert, Mr. Vash Guy. Vash, how you doing, man? Have you got the special am... spice today? <laughs> yeah, no, no special spice here. That's 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 for sure. Just just theme park spice right now. And there was a lot of theme park news to be had. But this one right here, you know, it could have gone either way. Jonas could have gone Avatar and it could have gone. Well, another IP, which we'll reference in a moment. <laughs> right. I'm right. Well, surprised. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that. Um, Disneyland Paris is an unusual park here. And, and it was often said that they were going to get. First of all, they announced two Galaxy's Edge. I, I remember. Uh, Bob Iger putting up his fingers and saying we're doing two Galaxy's Edge uh, theme parks there because it's better to build the same park in two places in the same country than it is to uh, vary them so that people might go to one and then say I'm going to go to the other. Hey, you know, earnings calls would indicate that uh, people with a lot of money are okay traveling, but whatever, whatever, that's fine. Maybe it's a different company, different strategy. Disneyland Paris was originally going to be getting a Star Wars land, and then there was silence. Look at that. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge likely canceled at Disneyland Paris. Third expansion at Walt Disney Studios Park. Still undecided. Well, Walt Disney Studios Park is not expanding in any way. It's now Disney Adventure World that is getting this, uh, well, uh, expansion. This is where the confusion comes in. Vash and I were preparing for this video. And the headlines out there are Disney is getting a new Lion King land. However, when we look at this from Disney Parks blog, it would seem to indicate a new Lion King ride has been announced. This uh, published August 11th over there on Disney Parks blog. Here we go. By the way, that right there, looking at this right now, this is Pride Rock. This is a flume ride. This is a single rider flume. Uh, more speculation on that soon. And here is uh, all of the characters from Lion King 2019, otherwise known as the animated, and when I say animated, I mean CG animated Lion King film. Mm. Uh, Vash, I think you noticed that one too. I did notice that one. That's really interesting, isn't it? It, it just seems, uh, all this seems very, very rushed, doesn't it, Jonas? That's that's very weird how that's actually happening. Well, there is more discrepancy with this because if you look at that concept art, you can see, like you said, uh, clearly this is based on the 2019 version and single single file logs. However, if you look at the model, you'll see that now we are uh, three across rather than just two across like you would find at uh, both Tokyo and Walt Disney World. So that's very interesting. And if you look at the model up close here, let me see if I can get to close up on that Pride Rock right there. You can see right there, that lion is based on the animated version. And in fact, Josh Dumaro on stage when actually touting the fact that they were going to be doing a Lion King uh, ride, land, Lion King attraction. He was saying that this was based on the animated version. However, this artwork shows obviously the live action. Apparently, this goes back to the Chapek era and how Chapek wanted a uh, uh, more relevant IP included in these parks, let's say. At least that's what I've yeah. heard from my sources associated with this. Yeah, um, so, and, and this is where we get into crazy conspiracy theories about the Walt Disney Company here. Now, looking at that single rider flume uh, right there, I, you know, I it's been a while since I've been out to Tokyo Disneyland, the only other place that has a Splash Mountain. But uh, when, when we're talking about single rider flumes here, that means that uh, they're talking about Disneyland here. And it could just be that the concept artist was thinking of Disneyland. Uh, when he did this, because there's a, it is a two-seater at Walt Disney World, and I do believe it is a two-seater over there at Tokyo Disneyland as well. So I'm going to say that this was one of the proposed re-themes of Splash Mountain over there in Disneyland, and they've just held on to this concept art since then. Because again, that 2019 Lion King film, uh, that made more than a billion dollars. I think I think it was it was the highest grossing film for Disney for a long time because they stopped having billion dollar movies right after 2019 for for many reasons. I think it might have actually grossed more than Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, I think you're I think you're actually right about that. So it would be conceivable that they 
maybe take what looks to be Chickapin Hill and make it into Pride Rock. It's very, very interesting, Jonas. And you'll see there's some there's some surroundings to this. This is why the revelation, let's say, that they're touting this as a ride and not actually a themed land or experience is very, very curious because I show very clearly that this is supposed to be the third themed world as part of Disney Adventure World, as we see on the revealed model at D23. Also interesting to note, Jonas, I, I want to go back into the history books just a second here because, well, Tokyo, Walt Disney World, and Disneyland weren't the only places that were supposed to have a Splash Mountain. In fact, Jonas, Disneyland Paris at one point was supposed to get a Splash Mountain of its own. You can see right here in a post that I posted here on Twitter. Initial planning and development was filed by Disney with the French government back in 1996. The idea was to incorporate Splash Mountain as part of the resort's revitalization effort for that park in a similar way that Discovery Mountain, later Space Mountain, vastly improved the popularity and visitation for that park as a whole when the ride opened in 1995. The plan was to have it open by 1999, and it would have occupied the far edge of the property nestled between Adventureland and Frontierland. Uh, those ideas were scrapped as the resort struggled with financing, as all resources, well, all available resources, required allocation towards the upcoming Walt Disney Studio Park, now Disney Adventure World, lest they lose the rights to the land, as they stipulated in the original Euro Disneyland contract. The resort opted for many less ambitious rides scattered throughout the park instead. Also, too, the, the thing that wasn't noted here and I was reminded of, this is a water ride in Paris. Now, we have had coverage on the weather in Paris, folks, and uh, we know it snows there. <laughs> um, this is going to be interesting to see how Disneyland Paris contends with the fact that uh, they're, they're getting a water ride uh, where maybe it's not even usable for like two thirds of the year. So <laughs> so that's going to be interesting to note as well. Yeah, um, and 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 that is of, of course a constant consideration with a park uh, like this. And and I've always wanted to visit a Disney park in the snow. I don't think I want to pay Disney parks prices to go visit a Disney park in the snow. But uh, I'd love the sight of uh, the the Castle of the Sleeping Beauty or whatever the translated title is of their Cinderella Castle over there. <sighs> They're going to have to drain this and it's going to be visible to everyone. And also they'll have a, an African savanna area that <laughs> will at times have snow all over it. An interesting <laughs> idea here, Vash. Interesting wow. idea. But, uh, but, 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 but here's the thing. We hear that Tiana's Bayou Adventure is a very popular attraction. Why wouldn't they? And it has French roots via Louisiana. Uh, right. I think they also actually do have mountains in France. So, you know, why not have a Bayou Adventure over there in Disneyland well, Paris? Well, think about this, Jonas. Think about this. They went from Star Wars, who they paid, what, $4 billion to acquire. They went from Tiana's, which uh, the, the company has been touting as the best thing since sliced bread. Maybe best thing since a beignet. They opted for... Neither of those, and have opted instead for The Lion King, animated version, which came out, what, 1994? 30-year-old franchise there? It's, it's, it's very interesting, Jonas. And you know what also is 30 years old? An addition to be added to Disneyland Paris Park. I, I guess there hasn't been a major expansion or major ride added to that park in over 30 years. Oh boy, Jonas, where, where we find ourselves nowadays with the Walt Disney Company. Well, this is great because this is already a response to Great Britain, UK, the UK park, sorry, Great Britain Universal or Universal UK or whatever they end up calling that park over there. It's the pre-response to Universal building their uh, park that's supposed to have Lord of the Rings and and uh, James Bond and Paddington Bear and, and other British uh, uh, attractions. So, uh, you know. It'll, it, it's, it's just a pre-response to uh, whatever is uh, happening. Um, this is fascinating to me. The, the idea that they are still trying to say that Tiana's Bayou Adventure is a global popular attraction and, and they can't get Tokyo Disneyland to go for it. We're hearing news that uh, Tokyo Disneyland has said no thank you to Disney bringing in Tiana's Bayou Adventure over there. They've even supposedly started to end their licensing of zippity doo and the uh, Br'er Frog, Br'er Bear, Br'er Rabbit characters over there. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this all shakes out over the next few years. Or maybe this is a test to see if they can find a different attraction to appease Tokyo Disneyland with. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. 
I also don't understand if they were doing a Lion King area, why would they do Lion King as opposed to saying saying it's just generally an African area? And then you could have jungle and savanna. Obviously, the lion is the quote unquote king of the jungle. Lions aren't in jungles. Tigers are in jungles, though. Uh, but you could have Tarzan, you could have Jungle Book, you could have many other attractions that you could do here. But Disney wants to do one IP per land. Or maybe Villains is uh, pushing against that, though. Who knows? Let us know your thoughts on this entire situation in the comments down below. Do you think that this is a repudiation of Tiana's Bayou Adventure? Or is this just that they love the Lion King and they're taking a step in the right direction? One thing seems for sure, though. Whoever designed Splash Mountain back in the day seemed to do a good enough job that they want to keep repeating that over and over again. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like this video and consider subscribing to That Park Place for all of that news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.